creators what's going on welcome back to monzon media today i wanted to show you affinity photo in my opinion the best alternative to adobe photoshop so right off the bat i wanted to share with you the pricing and currently you can buy affinity photo for 75 dollars canadian it's roughly about 50 dollars us so let's take a look at affinity photo and i'm just going to show you kind of a simple workflow that i go through when i edit my photos so you get an idea of what the program is all about so i'm going to go ahead and open up an image that i want to work on here so since this is a raw image, it opens it up in this section called develop. This is where you could basically, you know, do your adjustments to the raw file before you actually do your editing. For the most part, I can change the exposure here, the black points, the brightness, contrast, all that stuff here before I actually do any more fine tuning. So I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. And again, this isn't a, you know, a tutorial. It's really just to kind of show you how I use Affinity Photo. So coming back to here, you're going to see that the user interface is very similar to Photoshop. You have your tools like your brushes, your cropping tool, your healing brush, your clone stamps. So it's got a lot of features that Photoshop has. And then you have your layers, your adjustments, uh, effects. You can do masking down here. So it is very similar to Photoshop. So if you're coming from Photoshop, chances are you will pick up Affinity Photo very quickly. And a lot of the shortcut keys are the same, like, you know, zooming in is control plus or minus. The hand tool to move around is still space. So there's a lot of similarities. So at this point, you know, for an image like this, I'd probably, you know, want to use the healing brush to clean up any blemishes here. So I'm going to click Alt to sample and I'm just going to hover over here and I'm just going to quickly do this. So as you could see, the healing brush works. Whoops. The healing brush works just like uh, it does on Photoshop. I'm just going to do a little bit here. So you'll see the gray or dark cross there. That's where it's sampling. And now I'm just really cleaning up anything I can. If I do this quickly, you see the before and after, right? So another thing I would do is, let's say I want to improve the just the background and, and leave the, the model here alone. I'm going to create a mask layer. Down here at the bottom, I can do my adjustments. And let's say I want to bring up the vibrance and saturation just in the background. Okay, now what I'm going to do is get my paintbrush tool here and just mask out the saturated areas like so. I'm just doing this really quickly. I can always go back to the main image. Let's say I wanted to adjust my contrast just on the unmasked area there. So again, this is really just a quick example of, you know, my typical workflow. You know, if you look at the top menu here, it's got your usual filter options, blur, sharpen, noise. You have uh, other layer options here. Uh, again, very, very similar to Photoshop. So after discovering this, I was able to... Uh, cancel my Adobe CC subscription and I replaced it with the Serif Suite with Affinity Photo Designer and Publisher and DaVinci Resolve as my video editor and uh, it's been a couple years and I've not felt the need to go back. I'm not saying I'll, I'll never use Adobe products. There are many other programs that are piquing my interest right now but currently, 
because of budget restrictions and to kind of get away from that subscription model that seems that every company is doing now I can highly highly recommend Affinity Photo for uh, professional photo editors hobbyists even and if you are an aspiring digital designer and just don't have that budget now if you're just looking at Photoshop and Lightroom the price is still fairly reasonable it's like over 100 bucks US per year but again with Affinity Photo it's a one-time payment so already that one-time payment is uh, much cheaper than what Photoshop and Lightroom costs so let me know if you want to hear more about Affinity Photo, if you want some tutorials on it. Well, I am going to do tutorials on it, of course. It is the focus of my channel. Now, with that being said, of course, if you're brand new to Affinity Photo, uh, there is a bit of a learning curve. But those of you that are looking to escape the Adobe CC platform, I can confidently tell you that this is the best solution right now for the price and its features it's pretty much no-brainer now for now if you're looking for a simple photo editor make sure to check out these videos on Luminar AI it definitely may be an option for you and it's also a one-time payment option no subscription necessary and that's always good in my opinion get out there hit record and create and I'll see you when I see you